One of the things I really appreciated about the documentary and the work I understand that you've been doing since the documentary is you bring to bear hard data-driven science backing up the work you're doing in, in healing. And the doc starts to, to dig into this under the surface there, but let's get to the data of it all. The doc gets into some really nitty gritty stuff. Um, can you, can you, can you slowly walk us through that kind of this research uh, driven healing that you're doing? Sure. We partnered with the University of California, San Diego, uh, in their, one of the research departments. And we work really with empirical scientists to really demystify this process. And when I started out on the journey, I never thought I would be discovering the things that, uh, that, that I've discovered or we've discovered collectively. And we started teaching like in the very beginning how do we change? <laughs> mm. uh, why is change so hard? Mm. And is there a formula or a way that you can teach people uh, how to change? And so- And you're, n- you're not talking necessarily about transformational healing. No. You're just talking about changing change. thoughts, right. habits, right. Right. behaviors, right. And, et cetera. And, and that's where you started with right. your first Because, book. I mean, your personality creates your personal reality. Mm. You could all agree that if you change whether you uh, break uh, some type of substance addiction or uh, you, you, you change in some way, the, the moment you make a change, your, your world changes. Mm. It's no longer the same life and somehow it's different. Mm. And if your personality creates your personal reality and your personality is made of how you think, how you act and how you feel, mm-hmm. and if 90% of people's thoughts are the same thoughts as the day before, uh, the same thoughts lead to the same choices. The same choices lead to the same behaviors. The mm. same behaviors create the same experiences. The same experiences produce the same feelings and emotions. You get used to those same feelings and familiar emotions, and they start influencing our very same thoughts. It makes sense then mm. that our biology or our circuitry or our chemistry, our hormones or gene expression will stay the same because pretty much we're the same. Yeah. Okay, keep that up for a period of time and nerve cells that fire together, wire together. <laughs> the personality becomes a, a, becomes a set of hardwired beliefs, yeah. uh, attitudes, perceptions, uh, unconscious habits and behaviors and automatic emotional responses. It's mm-hmm. 95% of who we are by the time we're in the middle of our lives. Uh, it's memorized, right? It's conditioned, it's, it's habituated. Okay, so then we thought in, in looking at the studies in spontaneous remissions, one of the key elements is they broke the habit of being themselves. That was the thing they did, they changed. They broke the habit of the 95% of the unconscious state of mind and body, and they reinvented a new self. And literally started to to say, I'm not gonna think that way any longer. I'm not gonna act this way any longer. I'm not gonna feel this way any longer. And that takes an enormous amount of energy and an enormous amount of awareness to not default and go unconscious, right? Okay. Okay, that's that's the process of change. How many times do we have to forget and go unconscious till we stop forgetting and start remembering? That's the moment of change. The Soul Boom Podcast. Subscribe now on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and wherever else you get your stupid podcasts.